Truly loving, truly loving, like a brother from another mama. I have the utmost respect for what he does in the community. He's a cool dude, great guy, down to earth. Kind, uh, open-hearted, loving, affectionate, um, caring, can touch anyone. You know, have you ever met anyone that never met a stranger? That's how he is. The City of Atlanta Department of Watershed Management celebrates wave makers, employees making a difference at work and in the community. Joseph Ector started his career with the City of Atlanta in 2011. He came to the Department of Watershed Management as a temporary warehouse manager at the 14th Street location. With his perseverance and dedication, Ector was promoted to manager at the RM Clayton Warehouse facility in 2013. He manages three facilities, six employees, and is responsible for managing warehouse material. In addition, Joseph is responsible for purchasing, receiving, and issuing inventory for the wastewater treatment process. When I came over to RM Clayton about a year and a half ago and was promoted to warehouse manager where I now oversee uh, three different facilities uh, here at RM Clayton, the pipe yard, as well as Utoy Creek. Uh, my job daily is to make sure all three plants have operable information and inf as items that are needed uh, for the customers. We want to make sure we're customer based. One of the things I drive to all of my people is that together everyone accomplishes more, which is a team. Um, I don't feel like I'm better than they are or higher than they are because I don't mind putting my boots on and going out to help to do whatever needs to get done. But my bottom line at the end of the day, I want to make sure that that day um, the people that came to the window, or came to the door, or came to the warehouse, got what they needed. Joseph has an open door policy and is very hands-on. He is known for going above and beyond and giving the best of everything and helping employees reach their goals. He's been like my confidant and my right-hand man since I've been out here working with the warehouses. I've been out here since May 2015. Whenever there are issues, I always call on Joseph. I always get, take his advice on how to handle things and he always gives me sound advice to resolve the issues. If I want the word put out about something, a new initiative, call Joseph Ector. He goes out and talks to all the rest of the warehouse staff and then is implemented seamlessly. And Joseph Ector, I also say, is a very spiritual person. So he's also been that person when people have personal issues going on. He's always there for individuals to help them out in any way he can. And I want to congratulate him for, for being nominated as a wave maker. And he is a wave maker in many, many ways. I've been working with Joseph Ector for the last five to six months uh, as a warehouse manager. And he's absolutely a great guy, a great individual. He's uh, primarily the guy that I, that I go to for a tough task because I know once I give him a task, the task is going to be completed probably uh, better than I envisioned of it being completed. I make sure daily that what's needed is there. If it's not there, we place an order. They give me a couple of minutes, so give me time to get what I need to get done, and we go from there. Um, so I, I enjoy working here uh, at RM Clayton in the warehouse, and I look to grow uh, in what I'm doing. Coming up next, in addition to working full time, see how Joseph manages being a husband, father, grandfather, minister, and servant to communities surrounding the Atlanta area. Across America, millions of people spend considerable time and money caring for their lawns. What most people don't know is when they water their lawns, they are using their domestic meter and are paying unnecessary sewer charges. Many residential and commercial customers have invested in irrigation systems that have separate meters to record usage. Irrigation meters, which are used for sprinkler systems, as well as filling a hot tub or a pool, and or maintaining an ornamental pond do not incur sewer charges since the water use is not returned to the sewer system. If you don't have an irrigation meter, the water you are using is measured by your domestic meter and flows through your domestic water line. This will significantly increase your bill since domestic meters bill for water and sewer. Irrigation meters are not inexpensive, but if you water your lawn twice a week, they can pay for themselves quickly. For more information on purchasing an irrigation meter and water conservation, please call 311. You can also access our website at atlantawatershed.org or follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube at ATL Watershed.
The Department of Watershed Management isn't the only place where Joseph inspires people to reach their goals. His passion for service impacts individuals of all ages. He is a pillar in his church and serves as an associate minister. He oversees the marriage and youth ministry and serves as a church administrator. You know, I call him Minister Joseph Ector. Uh, he and his wife, uh, Mary Ector, truly have been a blessing to this congregation as well as this community. Uh, he lives in Jonesboro, but he think it not robbery to drive an hour every Sunday to come here and serve. He's truly a man that has a servant heart. I call him a pace setter, an atmosphere changer, and a, a difference maker. And uh, he's really become my right hand. He does a lot for me. Uh, if I call him, you know, Ken Newton got that saying, one call, that's all. If I call Joseph and say I need something, it's done. Love him, love him. Been very blessed to have him. And we witnessed God grow this church. And I'm talking about growing in a way, and I'm not talking about a number, but people's lives have been changed. Joseph assists in coordinating holiday celebrations and neighborhood watch events to help keep the community safe. You know, neighborhood watch programs that we have in uh, Clayton County are very important to the community and for safety overall. I think currently we have 161 and uh, Joe's neighborhood watch certainly is, is one of the most productive. You know, every, every neighborhood watch program that we have um, you find that there's a, a couple of people that's really the driving force behind that neighborhood watch. And Joe is certainly the driving force behind his neighborhood watch. Um, you know, not only does Joe work a, a full-time job, but uh, a neighborhood watch can become a full-time job also, especially when you're in constant contact with the police department, when you're in constant contact with other members of the Neighborhood Watch, when you're trying to coordinate meetings, when you're trying to facilitate uh, a lot of the things that go into making a Neighborhood Watch successful. And I think that, uh, you know, Joe has been very instrumental uh, in facilitating, um, you know, his Neighborhood Watch and the things that a Neighborhood Watch should be doing. We use water every day and our lives depend on it. Whenever we turn on the faucet, water flows out immediately. There are many ways to save water, like turning off the faucet, attaching a nozzle to your garden hose, or taking shorter showers. You may think making these small changes won't make a difference, but if everybody works together, then those small changes add up and become big changes. So, save a drop, it's worth a lot. Joseph considers traveling and reading as two of his favorite hobbies. He also enjoys nurturing, teaching, and serving his family and community. He is a great man, outstanding, wear a lot of hats. A husband, a preacher, um, grandfather, a father in the community. He looks out for the children in the community. Not just the children, but also the uh, neighborhood watch and anything else is going on in the neighborhood, he is involved in it. Although he is my stepfather, I look at him as a father. He's a father to me. Mm -hmm. And um, I say that because a lot of times stepfathers are, um, you don't feel like you can come to them for anything or you don't feel like you can ask them. It's like a distance between. But I would say with um, our relationship, I feel like I can come to him for anything. He's always there. And not just with materialistic things, but just you know, just been a father figure in my life because I didn't have that. And although he came into my life at an older age, I was in my teenage years, it wasn't a younger age, I still needed that father figure because I didn't have it. So I really appreciate him for that. He's a great father and a great grandfather. His grandchildren will tell you, it's no, nothing he won't do for them. He will do anything, go to lengths for, lengths for them and doing anything, showing up to their school. If they need anything done, anything bought for them, he will do it. Joseph started a business in my son's name, which is his grandson, Connor Hicks. And Again. we named it Connor Bryson Hicks Construction. It is not up and running fully now, but when he get to a age that he can understand, we will start him off very early doing the work. Joseph lives by his personal philosophy of 
If you can't follow, you can't lead. Joseph's dedication and compassion at home, his place of worship, at watershed management and in the community makes him a wave maker. If we do anything in the community, he's here. I one time we, we had a brotherhood march who was passing out flowers, he's here. Uh, uh, visiting the sick in the hospital, he's doing it. No matter what we need or know what we have to go through, he always make it better. He take the time out to solve whatever we are going through or whatever we need. Uh, in, in interacting with Joe and in interacting with uh, Joe's Neighborhood Watch, that people look to him for uh, leadership. Uh, they, uh, uh, they seem to respect Joe tremendously. Yeah, so, so, so get your wife a kiss. This might be yes. a, get your wife a kiss. Mm -hmm. No, there, that there. ain't no problem right there. <laughs>